What motivated you to conduct a study? Response by Anne Sipitnew. We developed this online course and it's available to all faculty of media and creative arts students at Humber College um, as part of their, their studies. Um, there's also an open access version available to anybody who wants to do it. What I found was uh, people were taking the course and people were learning a lot and people were were understanding that, okay, I can caption my video and, and I can do this transcript for audio, but there seemed to be a disconnect around why to do it. People were, were doing it and it was almost like they were checking the boxes, checking the box as to, okay, caption done, moving on. Um, and it made me think more and more about the idea of attitudinal change and how if you change people's minds, you can change the world. And so what, what we really, what I really wanted to try to do um, with this second project that was funded by the Broadcasting Accessibility Fund is to understand a little bit more about attitudinal change, but also, as Chelsea mentioned, looking at um, the aesthetics of accessibility, because I think when you make something creative and beautiful, people will much more want to look at it than if you throw some captions on at the end that are just tacked on and, and become just something that you, you ignore rather than include. So um, the reason we wanted to do this study for this particular project is um, the focus groups with the media uh, leaders, with the, um, the leaders of the films, and also focus groups with the students is that we're interested in their attitudinal change and what what working on this project meant for them um, and how, how whether things changed whether they didn't what it was like for many people it was an introduction to access and for other people it was something that they had known known about